you've seen from Keyshawn Burgers, it seems like he's made a jump, big jump from freshman year to sophomore year. Yeah, my man Keyshawn, he's a he's a character. He's, he's really been working hard. I really, I really appreciate that of him because you know we're really gonna need him this season because you know it's not a lot of ends out here. But it's a lot. It's, it's a good few of us. But he really been working. I love I love his character. I love his drive. He got a high motor, and he's just he's just out here making plays every day, pushing me, pushing all of us. Just be the best, best players we can be. What about his character? He's just, he's just, he's just a real funny guy. Like he just has a high motor. He's always happy. Like he just, he just brings good energy to the team. JC was mentioning that you've had some, you haven't been a maybe a hundred percent until the past few months. How does it feel to kind of be back at full strength? And he said, kind of hit your fifth gear and be able to be at your full. Yeah, it, it feels great, really. Like I really appreciate it. Like I really been praying a lot. I've been doing a lot of recovery, a lot of rehab, just trying to get back into the motion and just trying to get back a hundred percent for my team. You know, because you know I gotta play. I gotta play. Uh, Coach Pride, I mean Coach Pride, Coach Mar, Coach Price, all been like leaning on me just to make sure, make sure I'm doing what I need to be doing. I mean that's really not a problem though. Just they just want me to get back 100 percent pushing to my fifth year. What has uh, APR brought to this defensive end room? <laughs> APR, same. He's the same. He's the same guy every day. He bring brings brings his best. Uh, he's a pass rusher. He's a good pass rusher. He brings a lot of energy. He make, he makes me want to go hard in the pass rush too. Like he's just a. He's really like a pass rushing specialist, really, I'd say. How does it feel to have Belderis Payne back on that line coming off his injury? I love that. I really love uh, Phil that Phil's back. He bring he also brings a lot of energy on the field. Um, he's always he's making plays out there. He he's just he's a high motor guy too. He he love he loves to get out there. He's running to the ball. He just he just pee. Like if you know if you know Fildarius, like you know he's always smiling, he's just got a high motor, he's just ready to go and I just love that about him. Have you guys brought in that MMA specialists that do hand fighting stuff. Oh yeah, in the Bruce Lombard. Yes. Was that really helpful? Do you learn a lot from that? Yes, sir. Uh, that was pretty cool that they brought him over here. I mean, I didn't really know much much about him, but then when he came in, it was it was pretty cool. Him just learning like all like the hand fighting stuff, and it really just adds another skill to our toolbox as as a, as a defense, really, because you know we had the whole defense in there just learning all types of hand fighting moves and stuff like that. Was that something you didn't do a whole lot of, or have a, a big repertoire of before he came in, or? I say, I mean, I would. I mean, I have my own personal trainer back at home I'm from Georgia. I mean, so shout out to Marcus Howard. Uh, that's my trainer. But yeah, I mean, I do a lot of hand fighting stuff. But Bruce Lombard, he's more like an MMA. So he's more like a quicker, like more like I, I can't. It's really hard to tell until you like do it really. But I, but shout out to him for really coming up here and taking his time out to come up here and help but us. Do you notice it when you're on the like? Okay, I'll go to that move and stuff. Is it noticeable when you're off the field? Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Like it's it's like. We work on, it's more like working on fast reaction, fast twitch, working on just straight wrist movements. And yeah, you, you can really see a difference. Like we, we've been doing a lot, uh, rushing a passer a lot, a lot better. Just just from taking 10 minutes out of our practice, we'll come in after practice and uh, do some Bruce Lombard. Like, right, like we didn't do it this time, but we did uh, like last practice ago. But yeah, we, well, we've definitely seen a difference and we've definitely been getting, making a lot of production. Would you just do it like kind of Training, or would you go one on one with somebody else when you were doing the training? You talking about just Bruce Lombard? When you're, when you're, yeah, when you're doing the MMA. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was like really like a group of us. It was like a whole big group of us. But yeah, it would just be like I have a partner, and then it'd be like it'd probably be like twenty more of us just all in there, and Bruce Lombard would just be like showing us all different types of moves and stuff. Did they get pretty physical, or was it? Um, no, nah, not not physical, not physical. We wouldn't we wouldn't be out here slamming people or anything. It's just like real, just quick. Uh, compact, just chest area work, just you know, getting good work. That's all. What's the excitement level in that room? Knowing you're getting close to be able to actually put your paws on a quarterback. Man, we we're just ready. Like coach, coach probably really knows. Like we're working every day. We're we're coming out here on the field, making plays. Like we we just can't wait. We just can't wait to kick this thing off in, in Lane Stadium. Man, that's that's really all I have to say for that. With so many familiar faces back on the D line, what's the communication been like with so many of you guys there? And, Knowing each other's strengths. Communication. Uh, I say, you know, one thing about Virginia Tech football is that like we're just a very close knit football team, and it's just like the chemistry is always going to be there. Like you can ask you can, all these transfers that we got in, these new freshmen that we got in. Like it's just a close knit. Like somehow, some way, I've never been around a family like that, and but it's real. It's very nice, and it's, it's very. Uh, I say. It's just, it's just a it's just a one of a kind of thing really like if you get in there but uh to hit back on your question like Norrell, like my man Norrell Pilot shout out to him 
uh, D tackle. Like he's just out here working. Like we, he come and work with me sometimes. Like we're just like we're getting a lot closer, and really like we all know our strengths and weaknesses because we like we we've, we've been playing with each other and like the new guys that came in like they're learning about everything. So I say the communication and like we're all on the same level. Like we all know what we want out of each other. Like we want greatness. How much is your experience from last year getting some starting some starts under your belt and getting some significant reps? How much has that helped your development this year? It's really helped my development. Like one thing, playing college football, like uh, game experience is one thing. Game experience is one thing from practice experience. Like you gotta be able to like you can go out there and practice, and you gotta you gotta make plays in practice to go out there on, on Saturdays and Fridays, Thursdays. Sometimes we even play to make plays. Like if you don't make plays in practice, you're not gonna make them out there in Lane Stadium. You're not gonna make that make them out there. And uh, what, what do you do? Yeah, okay. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get knocked. You're gonna get hit in a real game, mm -hmm. and it's not gonna be your teammate who's holding yeah. back. What do you do to shake off the butterflies? Because they happen when you get hit that first time. Does it jazz you up, or does it step you back once, and then you have to kind of get back into it again? What, what do you do? I say, I mean, for me, there a lot of people have like different different ways of coping, coping and like getting their mind ready. For me, really, like I just. I just try and get in my own head. Like, first, you, Coach Price always says, he says, who do you talk to the most? And it's yourself. You talk to yourself the most. You talk yourself into things, you talk yourself out of things. But really for me, I talk myself into things get, before I even get the, get out there on the field. But when that when that uh, that ball, they kick it, when they kick the ball off, and I mean, I'm not really out there on kickoff coverage or anything like that, but when I go out there and I'm on offense, or deep, I mean, I'm on defense, versus offense, uh, when I get that first hit, then it's really just showtime after that. All it takes is one hit, just set your pass. One good hit, set your pass, and now you're rolling. Next thing you know, next thing you know, it's the end of the game, and now you want to keep playing. You've been here for a while now. How does it feel to be one of the old guys? Feel Man, great? Uh, time is fine. I, I can tell you that. Like, Norrell, Norrell told me this. It was kind of funny. He said, you blinking three years ago about already. I mean, I'm about to be a junior, and he was right. Like, I blinking. I'm already about, I'm already a junior. About to go. On, about to be a senior, almost. I'm about to be up out of here, but... Yeah, man, it's been a, it's it's crazy. Like I say, it's all I can say is time flying, and I'm just I'm just grateful just to have this opportunity just to play. Have you naturally taken a more leadership role now as you've gotten older? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I I'm more. I wasn't much of a vocal leader uh, come in. Like I was just led by example. I've always just been like the guy to just keep my head down, work, know, be, get in the playbook, know my plays, try and then. I'd be out here teaching some of the older guys uh, what to do or like making sure like they know the right thing because sometimes uh, when I was coming up, freshman and sophomore, they was looking at me. I was like, Cole, you, like, Cole, you supposed to be doing this? Like, Cole, you supposed to be doing this? Or like, yeah, I'll be like, yeah, just helping them out. And, but now I'm, more, I'm trying to get more of a vocal leader. Uh, I'm trying to be able to like just talk to my teammates, trying to talk, talk more to the young guys and just trying to get, get to know them more and just, you know, like trying to be out there. That, that's kind of something I wanted to challenge myself uh, just coming into my junior year, just being more of a vocal leader and just getting out there. What What do you think, or who has kind of helped you help you find your voice more? I guess. Did Coach Price get on you with that at all? Or? That's a great question. Really, I say my mom. I would. I say my mom. Um, Coach Price. I mean, Coach Price. He's He's told me that. He's kind. He's told me here and there that like. I need to kind of like step out my comfort zone. Like he always challenge, he always challenges his, uh, his players to step out of comfort zone and become something better. But I really say my mom because she just she's like I just need to get out there more and she just she knows I'm a shy person, but really I just need to get out there. I just need to smile, show show people my smile, and just you know just conversate with somebody. And because I'm a good conversator, if, if if I just get out there and just start talking to you, I'm just shy at first. That's all. One more. Yeah. Cole Brent mentioned that turnovers and increasing the number your defense produces are a point of emphasis this offseason. How do you feel the defense as a whole is, is doing in terms of working to improve in that area? Competing. That's one thing. Coach, Coach Pride, Coach Morrow, that's one thing we work on is competing every single day. We come out here, we have we have like two or three competitive periods. We start off practice with a competitive period. And it's just like competing against each other, against the offense, competing just like in like the D-line room. There's a lot of competition. There's just a lot of competition in there, just but like competing at all different levels, all different positions. Like we're always competing and just just trying to get better, and because we want more. Like to in order to get something we never had, we gotta do something we ain't never done. So we just gotta keep competing, and we just gotta go out there, just trying trying to do our best. What kind of ice cream did you get? I got straw. I got strawberry shortcake. Is it good?
That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Did you know what the song was when they started playing that? I knew it was an ice cream song, but okay. I was like, Bad. said some kid guys didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, I was, but I was like, I was like, I was, like, I was a little confused at first. I was like, wait a minute. Then I turned around, I saw the ice cream truck, and I was like, okay.